This video is a painting that I did part of a series of fruit paintings. I've done pears, plums, and apples. And today you're going to take a look at how I did the painting for pears. To get started, I applied clear water to uh, the paper, just outlining the shape of the pears that I'm going to be painting. And that way I can drop the color onto the page and it stays within the area of the shape that I want to have for that color. Uh, I use a round brush. It's a number eight watercolor brush. And I very gently drop in additional colors after I've put down the base color for the first pair, which was a light yellow. I'm using Daniel Smith watercolor paints and a couple of Lucas watercolor paints. I find that uh, both of these product lines give me the kind of rich color and product and product variety that uh, I enjoy when I'm doing uh, my watercolor work. Here you can see I've got the second pair in the background, which is a darker green, and I'm dropping in color along the edges. I'll also dab off my brush once I get enough density of color on the page and pull out a few spots where I will have highlights. You'll see me do that as the video progresses. I'm using a purple color, a violet, for the base area of the pears to indicate sort of some shading and a surface that those pears would be sitting on. And again, I'm just doing this out of my head. I don't have uh, three pears sitting in front of me or a reference photo. It's just uh, something that I thought would be fun to do as an exercise to be able to show the intermixing of color on the pears and creating uh, depth, tonal value and uh, texture on this cold press watercolor paper. Now you'll see I'm adding a deeper gold color to the third pair on the page. And I believe that color is quinacridone gold, uh, again from the Daniel Smith palette. I move quickly as I'm making pictures like this because if the paint starts to dry, then I can get uh, unfortunate blooms and different kinds of behaviors from the paint. So I have to move quickly uh, to paint these little projects and have them uh, turn out the way I want on this cold press paper. This paint uh, also has some granulating qualities, which means it uh, separates and drops into some of the tiny crevices and marks on the texture of the paper, which gives additional, additional interest to the um, uh, completed um, surface of the of the item that I'm painting and in this case pears and not all pears are perfectly smooth so it works very well for this kind of subject I'm adding uh, a little more uh, color to the bottom and smoothing out the edges as you can see and I will be adding stems to the tops of the pears and including a tiny shadow at the base of the stem uh, to indicate the depression that's usually in the top of the pear. Now you notice uh, I'm still working very carefully with the sharp edge of the top of my brush. It's a very fine pointed round watercolor brush. Adding a tiny little blossom end to the bottom of the middle pair. And uh, I'm getting close to being completed now. So when I developed these pictures I decided that I would write the name of the image um, at the bottom of the page. I had enough room left to do something like that as well. I decided to uh, outline the edges and highlight the script that I'm doing um, with a white gel pen. You'll see that shortly. You can see me writing the word pairs. 
freehand. Not perfect, but good enough for my practice exercise. In order to do the white outlining uh, that I do at the completion of this painting, I need to let the painting dry a little bit more, so I ran a hair dryer over it before I went after it with the white gel pen. So you can see me outlining the edges. And then I'll apply some of the white gel pen to the writing at the bottom of the page. I have to be careful when I'm using a gel pen that I don't slide my hand over it and smear the ink. And so there you have it, my final Paris painting. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. I have fun doing these little projects and I encourage you to pick up paint and a brush and give them a try yourself. Thanks for watching.